Hans Denier. I am in London Village, Shoreditch Works, wherever that is. Is Linton? Not Arrington? Shoreditch. 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 The name gives it away, doesn't it? Uh, with Mr. James Governor. Hello. And he talks about developers as kingmakers, and I've been very sceptical about this, but I've had a little bit of a. What do you call it? Baptism? Baptism, come to Jesus moment, Pauline revelation? Possibly so, in, in the sense that it, it's clear to me that um, developers are significantly more important than perhaps any other sort of, of thoughts. And I just want to hear you tell me why this is happening. Okay, I think there's a, a obviously, a, with the trend as big as this, there are going to be a number of reasons. Mm. Um, one is complexity. Um, we've seen this sort of fragmentation of everything. You know, a few years back, it was like, oh, Java.net, we made the decision, you're going to, you know, database, you've got three choices, you've got Oracle, you've got DB2, you've got SQL Server, that's it, you know, Sybase and Informix are dead. You know, it's that sort of thinking that you're only going to have three things, um, we know all the environments. Now we've got this new SQL, DevOps, Agile, all this cool web technology, developers around the planet putting actually useful code on GitHub and making it available. With all that complexity, mm. if businesses don't have uh, developers as practitioners mm. helping them to develop uh, business applications mm. built on the new technology, they're at a competitive disadvantage. Mm. So we've got all of this new stuff. You, you can't have an accountant making the decision on what to use because they're going to make a bad decision. Usually. <laughs> Usually. Okay. And the, we've seen an enormous growth in the number of applications which Adam Seligman, who runs the Salesforce community, kind of attributes to the fact that there's this growth in what he calls business or casual developers, but I mean, you don't go with that particularly. Well, no, I mean, we haven't necessarily seen an explosion of a community. I mean, where are they? Mm. Um, uh, we've definitely seen an explosion in the number of apps, uh, but, 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 but I think the, the IT industry is always hoping that, that business people will be able to build um, the apps. Really? Uh, uh, yeah. You know, it's, 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 mm. it's, it's the idea, you know, and half of the city of London, it runs on Excel, we get that. But I think the, the, you know, if we go back to Lotus Notes, there's this notion of, oh yeah, the business user can build the app. Well, well, well maybe they can, maybe they can build something functional, but how many years have we complaining mm. about you know, the problem that that became mm. um, in, in, in terms of notes? I, I just still think that, that, that most apps are built by developers. Um, I think there is- Professional developers. Um, Professional developers is an interesting one, um, but I, I think I'll, I'll run with that. Yeah, I'll just say yes. Professional developers—they are—they are building the, the vast number of apps. Now, that's not to say that they don't build apps on their own time, mm. and I think that's where some of the growth is coming from. I mean, you finish work, you go home, you spin up an Amazon instance, you do stuff, you build an iPhone app. Mm. I mean, a lot of the growth is going to be in mobile apps. I think that's probably where we're going to see. That's where the explosion of numbers of apps is coming from, right. to my mind. Um, you know, you don't need to ask for permission. I mean, you go to Amazon or, or Heroku, I mean, you know, Salesforce should understand sure. that pretty well. We think uh, it's, it's about the cost of doing stuff has come down. We see the same thing in startups. We're seeing a lot more startups. I mean, the cost of doing a startup has come down. Same with apps. A lot more apps, the cost of building an app has come down. Okay. Why are these communities growing as quickly as they are, in your opinion, from what you've seen? Um, well, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I think that... that um, I don't think there is a whole new cadre of people that popped up. Mm. Um, but what we are seeing is a lot more interplay between different communities, between people. You know, it used to be, you know, can I get permission to go to an event? Mm. Well, now I spend all my time on, on GitHub and Stack Overflow and Quora and so on. The interflow of information between developers um, is such that they don't need a middleman. You know, they don't, they don't right. need to ask for permission to right. share ideas, to share code, to do stuff. And I think that that's one of the big differences. It's almost a pedagogical education revolution as much as anything else. Mm. Um, and in an era where, um, yeah, you know, the, 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 the businesses may think, oh, you know what, people don't collaborate. Of course they are. The developers are just doing interesting stuff all the time. So what's in the future? <sighs> what is in the future? Um, uh, you had predictions, I'm sure. I did. <laughs> well, uh, but, but, I mean, you see, you see it. Yeah. Um, well, I think one of the future scenarios clearly is if we're seeing this period of massive abundance, massive massive digital abundance where there's all these flowers growing and blooming and everything else, right. we're going to have an extinction event, right? You, you can't have profundity forever. No, that's true. So I don't know what the extinction event is, but you know, maybe we haven't had the downturn that we're going to have. Maybe it is going to get harder. Maybe we're going to see a shakeout. Um, so that's, that's one of the very pleasant scenarios there. Um, but but I, I think that basically 
it, we're probably going to see... I think that the internet so far has been really making us do the same things perhaps more effectively. Yeah. You know, you're, you're doing commerce more effectively. Mm. And you know, at heart, Amazon is, is the new Walmart. Right. It's just really bloody good at selling. It's amazing inventory. Right. It, it's, you know, it's, it's just awesome at taking out competitors. It is a retailer. Now, you know, Amazon Web Services, you know, possibly just, I think that the, 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 the developers are going to begin to cause structural changes to industries. So if we think about what, what Google did to the advertising business, right. We're going to start to see more of that. So you're talking about business transformation. Yeah, companies. we're going to see sort of games companies become yeah. healthcare companies. Yeah, yeah. Um, because as Jane McGonagall has, 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 has pulled together in her book, Reality is Broken, do clinical tests on social gaming, mm -hmm. and you're getting the same results yep. that if you're then some prescription drugs, drugs for antidepressants. Um, and, you know, it couldn't happen to a nice bunch of folks. So I, 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 think, <laughs> I, I think we're going to see... I, I think we're going to see really broad structural change, and that's what we need developers for, and that's really exciting.